Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another weekly auction house update video. And today, well, today is Friday, as we all know, and it's the kickstart to the weekend. So, it's my chance to give back. So, here it is for the person that's got the bell on. I hope you accept this little token of my appreciation for you and for every single one of you. These are troubling times right now, and whatever we can do to help one another, the better. This is what the Sanch Army is all about. Enjoy it. I hope you do. I hope it brings you a little bit of happiness in these troubling times. But with that said, soldiers, Today, we've got some very interesting news and an update on the Peugeot, the brand new Razer TS2019, already being at 5 million credits, and also the AMG Hammer is already appreciating. So without further ado, give the video a like, soldiers, otherwise, I will sell this Lamborghini for this Polo. Would you like me to downgrade? The choice is yours. Anyway, I'll see you in there. Drop a gear. Vamos. And we have arrived, and to kickstart us off at number one on today's list, it's time to discuss the Peugeot 207. Now, as you can see here, on the 21st of March 2021, this thing was sitting at 1.665 million. Now, if I can bring you back to last week's tracking sheet, as you can see there, we were on day two, highlighted in blue, 1.665 million. My predictions were as follows. Day three, 2.1. Day five, 3.2 million. Day seven, a very key date, because we are currently on that date. I predicted 5.1 million credits, and as of today, day seven, we are at 6.279 million. So I was a million credits out of my prediction, but still rather close. Now, if I can bring you to tracking sheet number two, seven day predictions are as follows. Day seven today, 6.2. Day eight, it should raise to 7.6. Day nine, 8.1. Day 11, a very key date. As we all know, once a car touches or smells nearly getting 10 million credits, everybody and their mother decides to sell. So, day 11, we could be seeing depreciation happen on the brand new Peugeot, but if that depreciation doesn't knock down the price and the traction of this car, we should see an increase as following. Day 12, 11.650. Day 13, should raise to 12 million. Day 14, now, it's either going to seesaw back down to 11 million or climb past 12 million credits. We are not sure. Only time will tell. I would invest all the way up to day 11 before this thing touches 10 million credits because everybody sells at 10 million and we don't know the effects of that depreciation will have on the final buyout price. This thing should and I predict raise anywhere from 12 to 15 million credits in the next following weeks. We have to see what day 11 has in store for us. But right now, 6.279 million is still a perfect investment opportunity in the brand new Peugeot 207. I hope you enjoy this update and it's time to move on. Yeah, yeah. Bringing us number two on today's list, the AMG Hammer Coupe is already appreciating. Now, as you can see here, on the 21st of March 2021, five days ago, this thing was made available to get on the Super 7 and the price depreciated down to 4.002 million and since then five days later we've already seen a 2 million credit appreciation as of today sitting at 6.253 million your investments are paying off I told you to invest last week when this thing was at its cheapest price of 4 million and it's already on the up so great and exciting news for the brand well kind of brand new AMG. Hammer. Bringing us number three on today's list, the return of the Range Rover Velar. Now, as you can see here, on the 6th of January 2021, this thing was sitting at 5.190 million. Then, on the 21st of March 2021, it raised to 8.110 million. And guess what? As of today, five days later, it's appreciated by 3 million, up to 10.137 million. But, and a heavy warning comes with this. As you can see here, this thing is absolutely flooded on the auction house. So my advice to you would be, this thing is going to depreciate because it does not hold its price very well. So personally, I'm going to sell all mine today for a quick, cool 10 million credits. Do as I do, or if you think it's going to increase, increase. But personally, from experience, I know this car very well. It doesn't hold its market value excellent when it gets depreciated. So... Me being me, I'm going to sell mine, but that choice is yours. But at number three, the Range Rover Velar hitting 10 million credits. Bringing us number four on today's list, my beautiful baby, the Koningsegg Yesco. Now, as you can see here, literally five days ago, this thing was made available to get in last season's Farzathon shop. 
and because of that everybody and their mother decided to sell which drove down the price back then to 12.835 million and as of today five days later we are still feeling the ripple effect of that depreciation today we're sitting at 8.227 million now will the Corning egg yes go appreciate yes because it hasn't depreciated that much it hasn't gone down to six to four to three million so it's still at a high bandwidth so personally i think the Corning egg yes go will appreciate but it's going to take a long time you're talking at least a month maybe two so personally i'm going to hold i'm not going to sell my yes go i'm going to hold it and it's most definitely a one to watch but if you would like to get your sold by all means sell it for a quick cool eight million credits but my advice to you would be hold but at number four the beautiful Corning's egg yes bringing us number five on today's list the alpine a110 now last week in autumn this thing was made available to get in the forzathon shop for 350 forzathon points and back then it was sitting at 1.7 million credits and as of today it is currently sitting at 3.355 million a perfect little investment car as you can see here they are becoming increasingly rare to obtain on the auction house which is always a fantastic and great nod to appreciation in the future now i would play on the side of caution this thing where it, it is a rare car it's not really sought after so i would only expect this thing to appreciate from three million all the way up to eight million maybe seven million credits in the next following month so my advice to you would be buy about four keep them in your garage and just it's a one to watch but it is currently sitting at 3 million credits, which is an appreciation. If you'd like to get your sold, then by all means, sell it. But personally, I'm going to keep a hold of it because they are appreciating. But at number five, the beautiful, kind of beautiful, Alpine. Bringing us number six on today's list, we are seeing a repeat of history in the Lexus LFA. One of the most covered cars on this goddamn channel and a headache at that. If I can bring you over here, as you can see here, from way back when, cast your mind back to this graph, day one we were at 2.205 million. This car was absolutely flatlined and then it took a sudden sharp increase in appreciation. Day two, 3.1 million all the way through to day six, 6.62. 2 million through to day 10 it rose to 8.220 million then my second graph on the next video day 11 where we were at 8.261 million day 12 it depreciated down to 6.8 day 13 rose again 8.261 day 15 it reached its highest ever price of 10.261 1 million and this was all because it was coming back in spring and everybody was selling it day 16 through to day 18 it depreciated because everybody was selling it down to 8 million day 17 6 million and day 18 flatlined at 6.220 million now zanch why do you bring this car up again as you can see here this is five minutes of me trying to snipe this car it is becoming increasingly rare on the auction house to obtain now i finally obtained one for just over five million credits and as of today you can sell this thing for a flatlined price since that price on the second graph at 6.570 million i predict that the lexus lfa is going to appreciate in the next following weeks if you'd like to get your sold you can sell it for a fat cool six million credits but personally and i would suggest holding on to it and it is most definitely a one to watch history is repeating itself on the kind of brand new lexus lfa moving on bringing us number seven on today's list i bring bad news for the ferrari 488 piston now as you can see here this thing is an 80 percent completion reward in this season in winter and with that, that means that more people are going to have the car and more people are going to sell, which overall will depreciate the final buyout price as of today at 2.199 million. But this could also be good news in the form that after winter is concluded, this could hopefully, fingers crossed, kickstart the appreciation of the 488 Pista. So personally, I would advise you all to invest in about three don't go too overboard with them. Don't absolutely flood your whole Ferrari section with them. Invest in about three or four of them. Hold on to them. And hopefully, fingers crossed, after winter is concluded, the price starts to raise. Just like it did with the Apollo IE. Just like it did with the E63S. Just like it did with the DS3. But only time will tell. But at number seven, the beautiful Pista.
Now, bringing us number 8 on today's list, fantastic news for the Mercedes-Benz X-Class. As you can see here, on the 9th of January 2021, this thing was sitting at 6.312 million. And two months later, we've doubled our price to 12.223 million. Your investments are paying off. And personally, I'm going to get mine sold. But at number 8, the beautiful X-Class doubling in price. Moving on. Now, bringing us number 9 on today's list, the Mustang Shelby GT500, like every Mustang they've added recently, and we're going to cover in a few minutes, is still a non-mover. As you can see here, back then, we were on day 19, the price was at 9.220. Day 20 rose to 10.861, and has now depreciated back down today to 9.819. The Mustangs are still stuck in the mud. Will they appreciate? Yes, but it's going to take a long time time to get these things out of the mud and start getting some traction to finally raise just like the Corvette C8 did to 15 million credits but I would personally do not sell yet hold your Shelby GT500 because it will appreciate in the future at number nine the stuck in the mud Shelby last and most definitely not least on today's list I bring fantastic news for the Razor TS 2019 the brand new hypercar that has just been added to Forza Horizon 4 now in just 24 hours as you can see here this thing has raised to 5.5 million credits this is the fastest appreciating car in Forza Horizon 4's history now this car has had quite a lot of bad press so I believe that a lot of people are going to want to sell this car because it's not that good so when this thing reaches 10 million credits in the next following days we could be seeing a drastic flood on this car, but right now, 5.5 million is still a perfect green zone. I would be play on the side of caution on this thing because it's had a lot of negative press, so that inflicts people to go sell because the car's kind of rubbish. Will it be a 20 million credit car? Yet yeah, maybe, I'm not sure, a bit 50-50 on it. I think it'll go to 15, maybe 12 million, but only time will tell. But this thing, as of right now, is appreciating at an incredible rate and it's a perfect investment opportunity and with that said i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something new if you did and you want to find your way back here oi you give me a sub and get the bell on anyway i hope you have a beautiful weekend keep safe stay happy and i'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload peace and love baby yeah yeah